inspired by the Easy Sweezy. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Aren't we all? <laughs> this is untitled, though. <laughs> okay. I'd just like to say that Doug came up with the Easy Sweezy. I did not pin that on him. Yeah. <laughs> right now. <laughs> Lean but not mean on the poetry scene. <laughs> He's wise and compassionate, but acts like a teen. He likes to preen. His poetry is keen and in between. Russell Green. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Good rep prize. I'm glad you're getting this all on video. <laughs> no one would believe it. No one would believe it. Yeah. I'm going to read a few from my new book, which is called uh, Adam Had No Earthly Navel. No right. The cover is uh, William Blake, 1794. Mm. That's out now? Do you have some with you? Yes, I do. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. uh, read a, this is a short one. It's called Air and Angels. Not even an angel could have broken that vice grip. It was simply a matter of time until the decision and the vice grip turned to wings, shimmer of metal, Sunlight, air popping free, the ecstatic dance, breaths of air. Mm, nice. And this one I go for Edgar Carlson. It's called Eyes of the Beholder to Do List. A laundry line as prayer flags. A mime having a conversation with a whore. A spice rack of dinner appointments. Rain as roadway closed as that talk we've been meaning to have. Your muse in a fortune cookie. Your muse in your underwear's washing instructions. Your muse as your muse. What more did you expect? A blue plate special after hours? A time warp on a sunny windless day? The third time as the charm? How about a calendar of precious moments, a map of your five o'clock shadow, a voice in a wilderness in traffic, in a landscape of generosity and vibrant colors? Time for one more. <clears throat> I'll read the title poem. Adam had no earthly navel. Some say Jesus was immaculate, but Adam, first born, had no earthly navel. And no artist got it spot on, belly buttons across the canvas, the marble, even the ceiling of ages belying the heavenly conundrum, how did it all start? Really now, how did it all begin? Like one being focusing mind as in visions, flesh seen within mind as in dreams body pulled from spirit mind like cosmic taffy, flesh sprung from mind like snakes writhing for a patch of grass, birds out of thin air, pigeons from a hat, primal cum, waves slapping the first shore and no one knows whether to laugh or cry. First time, see, no one else saw or heard what happened, so who knew? Or we were planted put a seed in the ground, then the whole shebang becomes simple as gardening, discipline as the right conditions of earth, water, air, and sun, nurturing, strengthening, blessing. Thank you, gardener in seed and not in seed. As above becomes below becomes above. As within becomes without. As the coated prefab patterns become crusty shells, plant life, Bigfoot, UFOs, periwinkles, pericomo. Though maybe Adam had a cosmic navel from one long umbilical of constellations. Nice. Thanks.